hi guys how are you guys doing so this is a very quick prophetic word for a group of you guys i want to just say that god knows you're a loyal person and you are not the kind of person that will just cut someone off or remove someone from your life because you may feel bad or feel guilty they will remove remove themselves from you and sometimes that does come through deception okay or that does come through um obstacles and it may even come through some turmoil and stuff like some drama even but whichever way it comes through god will make sure that people that don't serve his purpose for your life he'll remove them from you and sometimes it may be a seasonal thing where some people come in just for a season but they're not meant to stay and he'll remove them from your life and reason being for this is because you have to remember something when he gives you a seed okay the seed that he gives you is the seed of life that he has for you because when you start walking with God and you are wholeheartedly a servant of God and you are obedient and you are faithful and you are loyal, God is going to give you life. And when God gives you life, he is going to give you a seed, right? And that seed is the tree, the tree that's going to bear the fruit. Let's just say that that tree, each branch of that tree that you're planting in that seed, each branch from that tree has a specific purpose and prophecy i tell you guys all the time god doesn't just give you one purpose one plan one prophecy you will have multiple prophecies from god and it could be as simple as like a small prophecy to a big prophecy you see what i'm saying so that's your the seed he gives you is the tree is the life is a tree and that's everything that he wants you to have in your life that is abundance. He wants to prosper you. He does not want you to be harmed. He wants you to be healthy. He wants you to be happy. He wants you to be fruitful. He wants you to be kind. Like he really just wants to make you fruitful. And that tree is going to have multiple fruits. But again, each branch on that tree is a purpose, a plan, whatever is according to his will. Okay. But you have to understand something, right? That tree has to be watered. That, that seed has to be watered every single day, every single day and there's times where you guys ever had a plant where you don't water your plant every day and it starts to dry up or you forget to water it because you get so busy with life you forget to water it or it's a situation where you get discouraged because you don't see the seeds sprouting the way you want it to sprout or you don't see that tree as yet so you may get discouraged and just give up on on watering that seed right it's the same thing with prophecies when god gives you a prophecy for your life whether that branch on that tree is marriage, whether another branch on that tree is your business, your ministry, whether the other branch on that tree is your health, all the branches are the plans, the things that God has for you according to his will in your life, okay, as you, as you grow through Christ, right? You have to understand that when you start to doubt and you start to think to yourself, okay, God, I don't think this is going to happen. This is taking too long. Or you get so caught up in life's, you know, problems and obstacles and you forget to water your branch, water the tree, sorry, water the seed. It's like you abandon that prophecy. You abandon that plan that he has for you. You have to understand that one pr prophecy that God gives you is connected to another one which is connected to another one, which is connected to another one, which is connected to another one, which is connected to another one. Everything you do on your walk with God is connecting you to something else. Similar to how Joseph was betrayed by his brothers and he ended up being sold off to Potiphar and then ended up being accused and then being and landing in jail. But then every single thing he went to went through, it led him to where he God needed him to be. You see what I'm saying? What people don't understand is one prophecy can connect to another and it connects to another and it connects to another. Just like that tree with all the branches connected to that one seed. Just like the fruits that that tree is bearing is connected to that one seed. So you have to understand that when God says, hey, this is the plans I have for you, you're going to get married and you start doubting that prophecy because of whatever is going on around you. What you don't understand is the enemy can try to steal that from you and you doubting it can cause you to not water your seed because when you're not motivated and when you don't have any faith and stuff like that and you don't understand and you're frustrated and and all of that's going on that can make you not even want to water your seed because you're just so focused on the obstacles around you you don't even water your seed you may forget because of what's going on or or you may just not be motivated to 
because of your frustration because you're you see what i'm saying and that is the whole point of not giving up god does not want you to give up because if you give up you become frustrated you're not watering that seed and now you're giving the enemy a chance to come in and steal that seed from you steal that word from you steal that plan from you steal that prophecy from you this is the reason why people that attack you guys even with witchcraft why do you think they attack you consistently it's not just because they want to attack you. No, it's because their goal is to manipulate you, is to drain you, is to discourage you so much that you don't continue to water that seed. Because they know if you continue to water it, it's going to grow. So their goal is to prevent you from watering it. Their goal is to discourage you so much you walk away from that prophecy. You walk away from that seed that God gave you. You abandon it. You no longer water it. You become faithless. You backslide. And before you know it, that seed doesn't grow into a tree. Why? Because it's not being taken care of. Because that seed's not being taken care of. You see what I'm saying? So when God gives you a seed, which is the life, the tree that he's giving you, that life, and he gives you instructions... And he gives you prophecies. It is important for you to believe it. It is important for you to have faith in it. But it's also important for you to do the works that he tells you to do. Faith without works is dead. It's important for you to continuously water that seed. Watering that seed every single day. It has to be a part of your daily routine. Okay, Watering that seed means that every day that you wake up you're gonna have faith in everything that he told you every day that you wake up you're gonna believe in anything everything that he told you every day that you wake up you're not gonna doubt it every day that you wake up you're gonna work towards it every day that you wake up you're gonna fight whatever afflictions are coming your way whatever obstacles are coming your way you're gonna get up and do every single thing you need to do that is gonna help you get towards it okay that is what watering the seed is. You're not going to doubt it. Every single day you wake up, you're going to cancel, denounce, and rebuke everything that may try to get you to come up against that seed, that may try to get you to not water that seed, that's going to try to get that's going to try to discourage you into not believing every anything that is against God's will for your life. You're going to cancel, denounce, and rebuke it. Okay? And this is why when God gives you a seed, this is why he will remove people that are not for you away from you. Why is that? Because the more people that are around you that are not for you, you may get distracted and not water your seed or they will come in and try to sow weed in your crop. So that tree is going to grow with weeds. But guess what? We cannot prevent weeds from growing, right? What we can do is we can be obedient and every time weeds start to grow and we realize a weed is growing, we cancel, rebuke, and denounce it and God does what? He pulls the weed out. He pulls the weed out. It's like when you have a garden, you plant the seed and you've been watering that seed the whole week and everything's looking good. One day you wake up and there's a weed. What are you going to do? You're going to pull it out, right? Exactly. And because why? You know that that weed is not supposed to be there, right? And that's the same thing along your journey with God. The more and more you grow through Christ, your discernment gets stronger. And every time you're moving towards his will for your life, his plans for your life, his purposes for your life, every time you see a weed, you're going to discern that there's a weed there. And God is going to remove that weed or you may remove it yourself. How do you remove it yourself? Cancel, denounce, and rebuke it. That weed can be as simple as you going to bed at night. You watered your seed. You're going to bed at night. And in the dream, someone's feeding you food. In the dream, someone is sleeping with you. In the dream, someone's trying to get you to open a door. It's like someone's trying to get you to receive something that's going to mess with you in the physical, right? And you wake up out of your dream, you cancel, denounce, and rebuke it, and that weed has been pulled out. Whereas if you don't cancel and rebuke and denounce it, right, that weed is going to mess with your crop. Do you get what I'm saying? So I want to read something to you. It's Matthew 13. This is, this is verse... Um, 22 the seed falling among the thorns refers to someone who hears the word but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke choke in the word making it unfruitful number 23 but the seed falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word understands it this is the one who produces crop yielding 160 or 30 times what was sown okay 
24. Jesus told him another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. Right? So you have to understand that your walk with God is the seed that he has given you. Right? That is a seed that holds the tree. That's the tree that holds the branches. That's the branches that hold the fruit. Okay? Because each brand, each promise, each prophecy, each word that God has specifically given you. It is up to you to take care of that seed, to take care of that tree as it's growing. Because as you are growing through Christ, branches are growing, fruits are growing as you are growing through Christ. And there's going to be people that try to come in to sow weeds, weeds to sow bad things on that seed. It's really up to you to remove the weeds. It's really up to you to cancel, denounce, rebuke every time someone does this. And a part of that tree continuously growing healthy is you believing when God gives you the word? Is you believing the prophecies he's giving you? Is you trusting and having faith in him when it comes to the prophecies that he has given you? And I'm going to give you an example. It's like the marriage thing I was talking about. Like some of you guys, you know, God has promised you marriage and people may have mocked you because you're choosing to be loyal. You're choosing to wait on the marriage that God gave you. You're choosing not to date. You're choosing to just, you know, just be obedient to God's plan for your life. And these people that try to come in and discourage you and mock you because you're single or mock you because you're not, you know, dating anybody or whatever, they are trying to come in and trying to discourage you and so you don't continue to water that seed that God gave you. You don't continue to take care of that tree that you're growing. You get what I'm saying? They want you to abandon that, which means that if you choose to listen to it, and you start doing things outside of God's will, you have now abandoned that tree, which is the tree that was going to be fruitful. Do you get it? So the point of me saying this to you guys and giving you guys that analogy is when God tells you something and continuously believe it. And in this season, be careful of people that are distracting you. Be careful of people that are going to try to come around you and discourage you and try to make you walk away from that tree. Most of the times, anything that you're supposed to do in life that God has promised you, anything that's, that's related to God's will for your life, this is why it gets attacked so much. Because the enemy knows that that's what's going to grow and that's what's going to be fruitful. And this is why you'll notice that when you're living your purpose or when you're doing what God tells you to do, People start coming from all over trying to throw arrows at you, trying to attack you, trying to discourage you. But as long as you know what a weed, what the weeds look like, you know that that is not something that is supposed to be connected to your crop, right? So what do you do? You're going to pull it out. But don't let any of this stop you from continuously watering the seed that God has given you. Okay, because God gave you that seed. There's many people that want the seed that God gave you. Remember that. There's many people that want your crop. There's many people that want the seed that God gave you. Does that mean that they don't deserve to have a seed? No, they do. But God doesn't just give a seed to someone just for the sake of it. They have to be willing to strip away their flesh. They have to be willing to be obedient. They have to be willing to answer the call to receive that seed. You see what I'm saying? So if God is giving you that seed, hold on to it tightly because what people will try to do is try to trick you out of taking care of that seed because they know that that seed that you keep watering is going to grow into a fruitful tree. Okay? I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.